Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Wicked Gamer and Collective. So in this video, I'm here with Dragonfly Amusement. Don't need to forget it because we are here in its store and we are going to talk about this classic arcade retro machine. So he had a lot of different machines here and I just came across this IK61 multifunctional or better said classic arcade. Personally, I'm a big fan of arcade machine and that's of course the main reason why I'm doing a lot of these reviews because I'm just a big fan of it and it's just so much fun to show you what is all out there. Not only the package from China, I am just like to go to stores or visit companies to review their products. So here with Dragonfly Amusement, in this video we are going to take a close look at the arcade multi games. It's a little bit older, let's say an older model, but so the first impression it looks pretty cool. But nevertheless, I just wanted to show you here in the channel what are we basically going to get with this machine and is this thing worth the money. So I just want to say this is not to be compared with arcade one up whatsoever, this is a full size cabinet. It's a little bit different than the other models I've reviewed, so that's what we're going to talk about. So first, the model itself, as you can see here, it's in a different position. But what I know of that you can change it up, so if you look at the back, you can open it up and here we're going to take a close look at the monitor you can see you can put the monitor in a different position or better said in landscape mode but if you look at the cabinet and overall the quality of the decals it looks pretty cool so the arcade wild games side stickers they're a little bit basic in my opinion and not very special but now i'm guessing this is what you're going to get with one of these first generation of arcade machines okay going to give you a little zoom in as you can see but they still look very high quality the only thing i haven't i think is a little bit of a bummer the front side it looks like a very cheaply made paint decal but at the same time that brings us to the front side and as you can see we have a coin here a little bit of weird position to be honest and if you take a close look at the cabinet from this position you can see where the speakers are mounted they're just the basic speakers that come in most of these cabinets. Alright, so that brings us to the back of the cabinet. And as you can see, I already mentioned that you can even swap out the monitor or better said you can turn it 45 degrees if you want to use it for just normal games. So that is something that is very cool. So for the audio, they have used this basic two channel amplifier. Seems to be there's only one channel connected. And, and we having here the power supply. And I'm going to say the position is a little bit strange, to be honest. And beside the coin mechanism, we can find this little button. I'm guessing this is for entering coins. And at the back, we can see we're having a little ventilator for cooling and the on and off switch. All right, so that brings us to the games. What kind of games do we have? We're having this, I think they call it the IK60 in one main board. So that's what we're going to take a close look at and play some games. So if you look at this collection, it's very tiny and it's only specially made for the method how they mounted the monitor. So you can swap it out in the future if you want to, but let's be honest, uh, it's a really cool way to play a lot of these games like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. They're just the way how they need to play. And there are a lot of games like shoot 'em ups but there are no really big lineup of shoot 'em ups on this cabinet 60 games a lot of classic games and that is something you need to take in consideration when buying this cabinet not a lot of games but a huge cabinet They already killed me! Check the beer. Hey, you have to drink for Oh, I'm not sure. I'm 
de bombe. Car il y en a une exil. Let me play fighting games. Let me play fighting games. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with the Clash Arcade. So if you look at the build of the quality, I really like it. It's a very nice cabinet to look at and it has some modding potential. The decals, yeah, the side decals are good, but at the front and even in the coin mechanism, it's a weird position. And to be honest, I don't like this for photoshopped paint little pictures. The controls, they are a little bit of the old quality, a very super wiggle stick in combination with cheap buttons. Not only having 60 games, but what I really like about this cabinet that you can swap in the monitor 45 degrees and you can just basically, let's say, build in the Pomodoro box if you want to. But still, we're going to need more buttons than three, so that's a little bit of a downside. I really like the marquee, for example, the decal quality uh, in general, so it's a very nice cabinet to look at. I really love to know from you what do you think of this classic arcade cabinet. I want to thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family, that would be great. And you don't miss out any new upcoming videos because I have many great stuff to show you here on the channel. A little shout out to Dragonfly Amusement for helping me out making these videos because he gave me the opportunity to film and show you guys these awesome products. And if you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, this means I will see you in my next video.